Hey, what is up my friends? We are back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Takara Tony Hadouken set 2.0. Super excited to finally get this piece of hand. I've been excited about this ever since Marvel Legends came out with that Iron Man with this cannon over here. And not to mention Ryu and Goku, pretty much anybody who has the resources to shoot a beam. So this piece has multiple, multiple purposes. It's very, very finicky. So and I'm just now starting to get it to where it's more stable. And they usually have the uh, arms pointed the same way, assembled kind of something like this. Make sure you tighten up the screws because that does make a difference. Aside from its versatility, it is also adjustable. We can't forget the coolest function. It lights up with this included remote control here. How cool is that? It does include these batteries. Well, I don't know. Some areas may not get it, but let's see if we can get a close-up of what kind of battery that is. CR2025 3-volt lithium cell. It does come inserted already. You want to insert it with the bottom down. I've tried from a distance of, I want to say, up to like five feet maybe i kind of wish there was just a little bit more light coming in the, the middle of it but i think it looks really cool so as you can see you get a light back here you get a light back here so you have a total of five batteries you're going to need for this and then you have this red function here let's try green and then we have blue so red green blue and then we have some alternate mixtures right here where you can kind of adjust the degree of the color i love the details for this piece too like the little rivets we can zoom up close so you can see what's going on right here like the white shading strips i was kind of moving in a wave i really like that and the white frosting on it very nice sculpted for it too Oops, see it almost go down it gets a little tricky trying to put the camera at a certain angle to capture the whole thing it is adjustable and then you have some other functions down here too fade jump you get these two plates for base which you can use for the stain. The plates don't seem to work as well, but both of them are kind of like just, they're not very stable and sturdy. And then you also have this piece right here if you want to convert it to the Hadouken. And I'll do that real quick. So these pieces are really tricky to get out. Just be really careful with it. And I'll show you in a second. It's actually key to the connection. Here we got the battery. Okay, so the batteries for the actual Hadouken part take CR2. 032 but i think the other one was 25 and don't be surprised if you see these little cuts in the side of it yes they added those because both of them seems to have it so when you get it out the package it's almost like it's a model kit you have to assemble all the arms for the stand and then these some of these pieces come disconnected depending on how you put it in it's going to determine how well it holds so there is a certain way they want you to do it. And these pieces are sharp. They're harder plastic, little pieces on the end. So you do want to be careful with that. So not the most secure fit. Just got to kind of mess with it. There is a mode where you can, a setting where you can kind of get it to where to hold a little better. When you hooked up the stands, you want to make sure the holes, you can see one hole right there. And then there's another one. Probably can't see that one right at the top right there. You want to make sure they're both facing the same direction when you try to put the stand inside. As I mentioned, it is adjustable, so you don't have to shoot it with this long piece right here. If you push it too far, then you got the other battery that comes out right here. By two, you can make it look like the Hadoukas are clashing, so like just imagine another one right there. It's flat enough. Probably ports in on the other side too for the second one. I don't think this rear part right here actually disconnects. You want to do the Hadouken effect. Place this one in there. I try to line it up. As I mentioned, there is a cut. So I just kind of lined it up with the inside. You can see like there are these little rivets and little key pieces. Now these pieces right here, they look to be identical. As I mentioned, they are not the most stable, but I do like that blue frosting for these are of a softer plastic. So I appreciate that. And you can see a little keyed area at the bottom. I'm not quite sure why that's like that. First couple of times I inserted it, it wouldn't go in all the way. Even now it doesn't appear to be going in all the way. So you do want to be mindful about that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. I think this is a solid piece. I got mine from toysmetaverse.com, I believe. I'd imagine it's going to be really expensive trying to get your hands on these once they sell out. If I was you guys, I would definitely get my hands on it. There was one Hadouken mode that I forgot to cover, but I'll put a link to a short eye uploader covering all the different modes in the description below. The only real gripes I have with this Hadouken effect is when you cut on the LED function, I wish the beam was more uniform. Like when you go towards the middle of it, it's not as much light shining through it. It is kind of fragile. It's pretty easy to scratch it up. And other than that, though, I do wish the stands were kind of a little more sturdier. The price does hurt a little bit. It was like $69, $70, but I mean, given the universal usage of it, I guess you could argue that it's worth it. Yes, my peoples, that is the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.